And when he passed away, what did you see in Webby that changed? Uh, same, same thing I've seen with Lil Fat. You know what I'm saying? Sure, yeah, R.I.P. Lil Fat. Like it was just a, a vacancy and a void. Like I had to be able to feel that void. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I gotta ask you, I gotta go back to something you said, man, because it really made me think about it. Like, because you see, sweet, you know, you, you see Pimp C, and you see how 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 uh, Webby always represent Pimp, just like we all do. Yeah, they had a closer connection for sure. But when he passed away, what did you see in Webby that changed? <sighs> same, same thing I've seen with Lil Fat. You know what I'm saying? Sure, yeah, R.I.P. Lil Fat. Like, it was just a, a vacancy and a void. Like, I had to be able to feel that void, you know. Like, I wanted to, I really wanted to be the manager to Lil Fat. I really wanted to be somebody he can come to and say, hey, um, I'm going through some stuff in the streets. You know, how can you help me? And it never got to that. I'm saying. Wow. So you saying if, if Pimp would have been alive when he would have he he would have had somebody to reach out to. Yeah, so I mean, to speak. I, I I needed Webby to be able to play with other players in the rap world. Cause I'm I was always I'm dedicated to the business. Yeah. You know, when Webby out and he talking to the artist, I'm always looking for the 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 person like me behind the scenes. If you know, I'm Webby's manager. I'm looking for the manager of Pimp C. I'm looking for the manager of Bumby. I'm looking for the manager of whoever. To try to connect dots. To connect the dots away from the shows. You know, because the only time they talk to each other is on shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And they, don't, they it's, it's very little conversation. Mm -hmm. But it's people like me that keep these situations going Monday through Friday. I got a headquarters in Baton Rouge that... I allow people to come in from uh, Southern, LSU, BRCC, interns that I lock in. How did you How did you get the understanding on how to open up a headquarters, how to <laughs> open up a business? You know, some of our people need to hear that, like to open up that building, to have that headquarters. Mm -hmm. How did you, uh, you know, how did you know how to go, like I know business, mm -hmm. uh, file for a certificate, certificate of occupancy, it, you know, get a DBA. How did you? Shout how did you learn all shout that? Shout out to Mel. Shout out to <coughs> Turk. Shout out to Mel. Turk shout out Mel. to Turk. You know, uh, Turk. Um, you know, I've 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 been working with Turk and Mel for a minute, and the best advice Turk gave me was to start my own brand, start my own business, and stand on that shit. And when he told me that. I didn't, I didn't look back, you know. I started my own brand, and I understood why he told me to start my own brand, start my own business, so that I can learn the ins and outs of how I wanted people to uh, represent my company. So, um, you know, I wanted to be what wasn't there for me when it was Bun B and Pimp C and Master P. Master P came to my school a couple of times. I want to be that now for the people that I deal with. Which so. is needed. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.